much for those inspirational words. Our next guest speaker, of course, is no stranger, and she's been an inspiration to all of us. And we are speaking of none other than the author of In the Spirit, editor-in-chief of Essence Magazine, and currently preparing to release her newest book, Lessons in Living, inspirational to us all, Sister Susan Taylor. Give her a hand. very little time and I, you know I can talk. So I, I just want to just get right to the point. We heard, I mean, thank you, Kathy, for reminding us how good God is. Thank you, Hazel Dukes, for reminding us of what the women who paved our way have done. And today I just want to ask you what I'm asking myself. What is it going to take for us as people of African ancestry to stand together? To stand together for our children. To stand together for our future. I've been asking myself, what is it going to take? I grew up on this block right here, 116th Street, a little further east in Park Avenue. I grew up in a Harlem in the 1950s and 60s that was safe. We saw heroin come out of the jazz clubs and into the veins of young people's arms. Those of us who could flee, we fled. We ran to Queens. Some people ran further than that, out to Long Island. The bottom line is there is nowhere to run, there is nowhere to hide. Because we are living in some very dangerous times. But you know something? What we have lost sight of is what our parents and our brands never forgot. There is a power within us that is greater than any adversity we could ever face. But we have lost sight of that. There is a power within us that will never, ever fail us. Friends may turn their backs on you. The job that you think you're going to retire from, it just might be gone. The relationship that you feel you can't live without, you better learn how to because there are no guarantees. But the divinity, the divinity that brought us forth never, ever leaves us. So what we have to remember is this, these aren't the hardest of times. What is wrong with us? What are we living for? What are we standing for? What are you willing to die for? Each of us is here for a finite amount of time. And we have to use our time here to move our people forward. And if we don't, we're going to be the first generations of people of African ancestry in the United States of America to allow our people to lose ground. Because that's what's happening right now. And so my message is this. You cannot give my sisters and my brothers, and it is a joy to see so many brothers here today. You can't give from an empty cup. Every day, before you do anything else, what you have to do is give yourself to yourself before you have to give yourself away. Start the day giving thanks for your life. Start the day remembering that the power within you is greater than any adversity, than the crazy boss, the child who's gone away with. You've got the strength to keep on moving, to keep on pressing. Honor yourself. Take quiet, introspective time every day. Fill your cup. Nurture yourself. And then you'll have the wisdom, the fortitude, and the strength to do the critical work of moving our people forward. It's the midnight hour, but it's never too late. Praise God. Yeah.